music and sound, they somehow fascinate us. It has a very strong power. And just when you think about crushing off the waves, like you hear right there, you immediately think of some things like holiday, pleasant weather, the ocean, and so on. And what about sound with cars? You know, we know exhaust sound, we know engine sound, we know door closing sounds here at Autogefühl, of course, clicking buttons on the interior. And the automotive manufacturers, they really have own laboratories where they test that, where they maybe can compare also the competition. Everything just for the perfect sound in every single detail. Well, something works very well, sometimes not so good, but that's also what we test here on our channel. But what about the electric cars? So the future, the EVs, well, they're actually predominantly silent. On the exterior, there are now new regulations where they have to make a certain sound, also in a certain frequency, that actually, for example, also people who cannot see that well can actually hear the cars because it might be too dangerous otherwise. That's mandatory already. But what about also on the interior? On the one hand, you can say you appreciate the silence. On the other hand, you can say, yeah, maybe why don't we pick the sound? Like, you know, today I'm setting it in the V6 mode or in the V8 mode. Or then today in the silent mode or in the spaceship mode or whatever. And the interesting thing is BMW also thought about that and thought, you know, let's not make it all silent. Let's make it somehow distinctive. And we're here for the LA Motor Show and the Los Angeles area, of course. And therefore, we also picked this beach to have this, you know, sound and pleasant accentuation. And we actually could meet Hans Zimmer. He's one of the most famous musicians or film musicians in Hollywood. He's been making the music for Lion King, for Rain Man, very famous for that. Also for the Batman trilogy with Christian Bale. And recently, for example, the X-Men, um, Dark Fiend. So make so many very famous music. And this also what makes this experience for those movies. And BMW actually also has someone responsible for the electric sound design. And we also met him, actually. So in this video, we'll give you an insight about what BMW is planning for sound design for electric vehicles. And you know, yeah, we could talk about it in theory, but right now, let's listen to some of the sounds they have already designed together. So, for example, when you think about like a BMW 7 Series when it's all electric or even already for the PF, when it would just be stationary, how could that sound like? And then also, for example, when this car would accelerate, and that could also count for other PF or other EV models they have, what are you thinking for that sound? And then there's also a new startup sound because when you start a combustion engine, you know, have maybe like a roaring sound, or at least you hear, oh, it's starting. But with EVs, and I have to agree to that, something, oh, is it on now? I don't really know. And we've heard those startup sounds, for example, like, like with Kia, for example, it's dun, 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 which, you know, sounds not that elaborate, but at least you know that something is happening. But they also put it to their combustion engine models. And BMW, Renzo Vitale, responsible BMW for the electric sounds, together with Hans Zimmer, they designed now a new sound for the EV startup at BMW. And last but not least, what they also have already showed us is a special sound for the BMW Vision M Next, so for the next M sports car, which is so far a PF as being planned. How could that sound like when this one goes in the acceleration all the way through? So looking forward to your comments, what do you think about those sounds? And now let's talk to the expert what they have actually in mind in doing about the sound design in the future. Very interesting approach and I mean it's a one very single aspect but it can actually mean a lot when driving a car. Hans Zimmer, yeah. 
thank you so much for having us here. And More than welcome. <laughs> of course, I want to know, when you think about a sound of a car, you know, what comes first to your mind? Is it like, you know, an exhaust sound? Is it something on the exterior? Is it on the interior? Is it the door closing? So what's your connection to a sound of a car? Well, my connection, look, without getting into a vast emotional story here, but one of the things which really interested me was that I think the combustion engine, whatever people say, it is a compromise. I mean, the reason it makes a sound is because it's not perfect, because the parts don't, they rub against each other. They, you know, you have explosions going on inside it. It's not as efficient as you think. And when you suddenly get to an electric engine, the sound of silence is really the sound of perfection. So I was thinking, hmm, let's start off with a blank canvas, with a white canvas of perfection. And see what we can do to humanize that. You know, not not every car needs to sound like a like either a spaceship or an, or a lawnmower. You know, somewhere in between there, there is there's something which could become become something human and really interesting. Why do you think that silence is maybe not the best way? Well, silence is not the best way because, first of all, on the outside, um, you're going to kill people that are walking in the way. And I think we need to go and do something to, to help that a little bit. And then secondly, si you know, silence is something very powerful. Because if you're in complete silence and, and, and a car, you know, the interior of a car is, a, is, a, is a, can be a perfect anechoic chamber. Um, and sometimes, you know, it, it can become a little scary to just be there entirely with with your own thoughts but but sometimes it'd be nice to sort of influence them i mean what i do constantly in film music is i see music or i see sound as a way of opening opening emotional doors for you to have an experience i'm not going to tell you what the experience is going to be or what experience you should have but at least present you with the possibility and i think dry uh, driving really has that you know the 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 idea of going on a journey you know it might be an emotional one it might be a you know or a physical one um it's really interesting and 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 to go and help you to have a a pleasant and exciting uh fulfilling journey i think is um a good start for for this job so how can you by your experience to the film music make a car feel more alive i don't want to make the car feel more alive, I want your experience, your human experience, feel more alive. I mean, Renzo said this very smartly earlier that you know you shut your eye, eyes and the car is gone, right? But the sound of it still remains, you know. And um, sound is very much a 360 experience. And I think in this new world, and uh, you know, of 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 podcasts suddenly becoming really important, of our ears suddenly, ta you know, becoming as important as our eyes. I think that, that, that there's an opportunity to change the whole world. Looking forward to that, thank you. Well, this is the BMW Vision M Next and we already presented that one here to you in a separate video. If you're more interested in this one, we will also link it in the video description and the pinned comment. But the thing is, what it's about today, it's about the sound design and how will a plug-in hybrid vehicle or a pure electric vehicle at BMW sound like? Because there's obviously it's missing like V8 or V6 sound. It's of course on the one hand about what's sounding on the exterior, but also what you hear as a passenger or as a driver on the interior. And today it's more about what we hear on the interior. And you know there are also special sound designs for clicking sounds of buttons, how doors are opened and closed and how they sound. Manufacturers have own laboratories for that. And they now also have own sound designers for, let's say, all the beeping sounds on the interior. And now we're joined by Renzo Vitale. He's the BMW Group sound designer. So please tell us, give us some insight into your work. What means sound design at BMW? Sound design, it's about creating uh, the voice of the vehicles. So giving every car an identity through sound. And what I'm responsible for is everything that is related to the electric cars. So I compose the sound for electric vehicles or also for hybrid vehicles when they are driving electrically. And at the same time, I also compose the Klangzeichen, the sound signs, which are all the, sign, the sound that you perceive as you are interacting with the car. 
so if you don't fasten your seatbelt or if you are turning left or right, the tick-tock sound and everything that happens there, it's something that I'm responsible for. Oh yes, those seatbelt warners, they are sometimes so annoying, not necessarily at BMW actually, but you know, think of like a Ford or a PSA group, you know, like, like this uh, special sound when you don't have your seatbelts fastening, they get crazy. But I mean, in this case, it's also like meant to drive you crazy a little bit that you... Correct. I mean, that's a part of the challenge that we have in our work. You have to create something that might be boring or might be... Um, 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 something that might be annoying for you, but we also have to create a different uh, range of annoyance. Um, there are sounds that I have to bring you to react immediately, like to break without even thinking. And there are sounds that can be more gentle, but still like hitting you and saying there is something you're supposed to do. And this is the case of the seatbelt. So it's a warning. It's important for your life because seatbelt can save your life. And so we want you to wear it. Um, and we give you a few seconds to react. So the sound is a, a gentle warning that is still uh, present and takes you to do this gesture. And talking about the driving sound of plug-in hybrid vehicles or the full battery electric vehicles, you know, if you think about, you know, classic sports cars with combustion engines, you know, have like this vroom sound and it's like a, I mean, there are even some studies for that, that is like a natural reaction for a human body that, that is somehow pleasing. So how do you try to cope then with the electric vehicles where you could say, yeah, let's go silent all the way, but that's not your approach. So what is your approach? I have a different approach as uh, compared to the um, combustion engine cars. So the combustion engine cars uh, are very muscular kind of cars. The sound is loud in the streets. Um, it's very passionate, uh, it's very muscular, um, and it's something that gives a specific identity of the car. And it's, it's everything good with that. It's a wonderful word which um, exists in our streets, it's part of our story, but I think with electric car we have a new paradigm. There is a paradigm shift. The way the energy is created is different. We are moving to the electric energy and per se it's silence. And silence is a very, very precious condition that we always want to preserve also BMW. And so we begin with silence. And we, the idea is that how can we shape silence in order that it turns into a sound that it's um, not aggressive, but it's still emotional. Because BMW, as you know, is uh, lost about emotion, and we want to still keep that in our electric sound. And we can do this. Um, so what I, I try to do is to create an, a new sound world, a new sonic world that we would not necessarily uh, relate to a car, but it's new association that we are creating for the future. So to make it clear that also the energy flow, the way the car is moving is different as compared to control, um, a combustion energy car. But what should remain is the possibility of expression. Because I see sound as uh, a possibility for the driver to express himself. I always consider the driver to be a, a performer and the car to be like a music instrument that he can interact with. And being a musician myself, I know that whenever I'm performing on a stage, what I want to do is to exchange and communicate an emotion to the audience. And this is the case for the car. So I want the driver to be able to transfer this emotion to people driving with them, or also to people in the streets, but in a different way. I, I keep talking about the sense of elegance in the streets. So that's what I'm really, really concerned about and what we as BMW want to bring in the streets. Another way to understand car, another way to uh, perceive the uh, electric vehicles, and another way to create the soundscape of the cities of the future. So what I would imagine is, um, you know, I would like to have some like playful options so that I maybe adjust like, oh, I want like a Star Trek spaceship sound, I want to have a Stargate spaceship sound, or maybe like a Star Wars spaceship sound, or today I want like a V6 sound, I want a V8 sound. Even Elon Musk doesn't do that, so, you know, he obviously doesn't, you know, want that too in his vehicles. So could you imagine also like those very playful or joyful wor worlds, or would you say, 
No, we as BMW, we decide that's right for our customers, that's the sound they should listen to, stick with it or die. <laughs> so what I would say is that BMW stands for shared driving pleasure. So it's about communicating joy. And we try to compose sounds that are able to communicate the sense of joy for the driver. The way we understand joy, the way we interpret joy throughout our history. At the same time, as you just mentioned, the electric cars allow us to have a wider range. Um, and as you know, you can select in your car between a comfort, sport mode, and these are already to different rooms that you, are, you want to be in. And of course, we, we've done uh, multiple um, sounds. We, comp we compose crazy sounds that you can uh, experience. And um, I cannot reveal uh, much about this, but I can so, tell be, be honest, did you also try some like chipmunk sound or something <laughs> in the studio? Tell us. Yeah, no, I didn't try the, the chipmunk. Come on, really? <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, we did, we did really... Really funny stuff uh, because. Tell us. Uh, uh, Darth Vader sound or something. <laughs> no, I mean what what we've done. We have used um, some kind of uh, sound elements that you would not expect to be in part of the car, uh, but we never want it to be something that it collides with the sense of car. So of, of course, uh, competitors have uh, many different ideas from ours. But to, to us, what is important is that the concept as an overall element, it's consistent. And so that's why we try to be very peculiar about sound. Even if we create sound that are uh, joyful or playful, still they have to be something that match BMW, that match the design. Because, I mean, if you would do a chipmunk sounds with this car, it's something that would collide with each other and uh, I don't think it's something we, we, we would be doing. So just to be clear, you're doing it for BMW Group. That means how can a sound differentiate between Mini, BMW and Rolls-Royce? What's you know your main target there? Um, so for instance, I've uh, composed a new sound for the Mini brand, uh, which has been presented uh, this year with the new Mini Electric. And it's going to be in the street, I think, March, April next year. And Mini has a different story. Mini is a different kind of character. And so when I composed this sound, I had lots of exchange with the designer, the Mini designer, with the marketing people at Mini. And I, I want to make sure that when the Mini is around the streets and you, again, you close your eyes, you listen to something, in that moment you would say, this is a Mini or this is a BMW. This is the very first thing that is important to us, create this connection. And once we have created this, then we can expand this towards multiple uh, scenarios. It's just like BMW. If you look at this car, you have this design gesture. They are part of our identity. And we have the same for sound. So we created the new jeans also for the mini electric sound. And we're going to expand and explore them in the future. So do you think, I mean, everyone is thinking, okay, when we go to electric vehicles, sound will not play a role anymore and sound is less important. Do you think it's exactly the opposite? It's exactly the opposite. I mean, silence, if you, uh, if you want, it's another type of sound. So we are already beginning with this very um, iconic gesture of the electric cars, silence. But then it's all new kind of story because we know that people want to express themselves. So there are moments in which you want to enjoy the, si the silence and you need silence, but there are moments in which you are pushing on the gas pedal. You have this uh, crazy acceleration that you are feeling on your body and we want to give that also voice. That's what we do. So it's what we did also for this uh, Vision M Next car. We created a sound that when you are pushing on the boost button, then uh, it's like a new revelation happening. The sound is bringing you through different sound um, rooms. We define four rooms for the Vision M Next. Um, and every room is coupled to the speed range that you are driving through. So the sound is developing differently if you are uh, driving 20 kilometers per hour or 180 kilometers per hour. It's a story. So sound becomes the narrative of your car. Sound is informing 
on everything that the visual is not informing you about. So tell us about your collaboration with Hans Zimmer. How inspiring is it for you? Which role are you playing? Which role is he playing in this collaboration? I mean, working with Hans, it's, um, it's hard to describe in words. It's a unique experience that I have had, um, that I still have because we, we keep collaborating together. But I have to say, it felt since the very first moment that we met as absolutely natural. Uh, we resonate on many levels. We have a same way of looking at things with different languages. So I'm a composer as well and I use different textures, different approach to sound. And so without, it has been at the beginning a process of understanding who we are. And in fact, I remember the very first time that we uh, met each other, I drove a car with him, he was sitting next to me, and I played uh, different sounds for him. And then at a sudden he said to me, he said, you know, I'm not going to judge your sound, I want to understand how you sound like. And it was the very first beginning of our cooperation. And then uh, when we composed the sound for this car, I went into the studio with a concept which was very abstract because I always start with these ideas taken from the art world most of the time. And um, this car was inspired by Jim Sturell and Olaf Eliasson, are the two artists that I used. And so I went into the studio, I start um, speaking about my ideas, and then he immediately started to turn these ideas into sound. And I mean, we've been working close uh, next to each other for a few days without leaving basically the, the studio at this moment. And it's like a process of, of um, collaboration. Sometimes he's the driver and I'm the passenger, and sometimes I am the driver and he's the passenger. So it's very mutual, uh, collaborative kind of work. Very interesting. Thank you so much for the insight. And we'll keep you updated, of course. Thank you. What will be developed from all those sound ideas and how your PF or BEF BMW of the future will maybe sound? And that's the guy who's developing it. So stay tuned. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, guys, here we are again, and I hope you enjoyed this sound insight for today. And also tune in to all those car review episodes from the LA Motor Show. It has been very interesting, definitely, this motor show. And I hope you really enjoyed all our coverage for today. And if you want to see more features about single elements of automotive development, more insight in the car industry, then please also leave us those comments. Then we know what we can actually do to deliver you even more fun and information here in Autogefühl. And also tune into a special BMW X3 review that is coming up, where we also drive a little bit around this area here to have some great insights there as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. See you next time.